Welcome back. Last episode, we discussed the history of LGBTQIA plus pride movement, the disparities between gay rights that still exist around the world. So, LGBTQIA plus. Are you wondering what all those letters stand for? Well, we're about to find out. Because the first step towards change is education and understanding. Let's get to work. Episode two, here we go. Depending on where you're from, the letters and what they stand for may vary. We're going to take you through the ones that we use here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. L is for lesbian, women who love and are sexually attracted to other women. G is for gay, men who love and are sexually attracted to other men. B is for bisexual, people who love and are sexually attracted to more than one gender, like me. And me. T is for transgender or transitioning, people whose true gender identity does not match the gender they were assigned by others at birth. In many parts of the world, gender-affirming healthcare is inaccessible, even illegal. Despite our trans community leading the fight for liberty, acceptance and equal rights from the very start. The world tells trans people that we are, our bodies are grotesque or mantras, we're ridiculous. Uh, and we're told always, oh, no matter what you do, you're never going to be the same as um, a cisgender person. It assumes that there's like an inherent right way to have a body uh, and to live in the world which is not true for anybody. And um, I get really emotional when I think about this. I started my fitness journey in tandem with my physical transition with my hormones for myself. I wanted to reclaim my body uh, and learn to love the things that it could be. Choosing to be an instructor put all of that on display for everybody in a very physical way at a time that was where my transition was still very new. So my face and my voice and the shape of me was changing constantly in front of 30 people in a day and it's it required a vulnerability and a bravery that no one should ever need. The second T is specific to Aotearoa New Zealand and stands for Takatapui, our Indigenous Whakapapa Māori gender diverse community. It's incredibly important to recognise Indigenous identities within the rainbow spectrum in your country as white supremacy and colonialism have done their best to marginalise these people, cultures and identities. This is where the acronym varies from country to country. In Canada, the acronym includes 2S for the Indigenous Two-Spirit population. Q is for queer or questioning. Now queer is a self-identifying term and this word holds a lot of pain and trauma for many of our community members. So if somebody self-identifies to you as queer, awesome! You can too, but if they aren't explicitly using this word in reclamation, use other language to refer to them out of respect. Every one of us has had a different duty with our sexuality and gender, and it's crucial that we provide a safe and welcoming space for questioning people to explore their identities. So my questioning phase started when I was about seven, when I was first labelled and bullied for being gay. And for a lot of young people, we form these shells and facades to protect us from those situations. And that means that we struggle to form an identity and find ourselves when we're young and like a lot of other people do. A really important way that I overcame this was by coming out first of all and being myself to the people around me. And being a Les Mills instructor has shown me that when I'm authentic and I'm myself on stage and people come to me saying how much they value my classes, it shows me that I have a lot of value in this world and I really appreciate it. I use for intersex. People who are born into bodies which fall outside of the strict male-female sex binary. The sex and gender binary is the assumption that there are only two genders and two sexes, male and female. But the very existence of intersex people is proof that there is natural variation of infinite combinations, hormonal, chromosomal, genital, beyond this binary. Did you know that intersex people are about as common as redheads? About 1.7% of the population. Being intersex is a naturally occurring variation in humans and should not be treated as a medical problem that requires fixing. Now, A is not for ally. It stands for asexual or aromantic. People who experience little to no sexual and or romantic desire. Ace people including grey sexuals, demisexuals and all other ace identities are a valid part of our community. We need to remember that this part of the acronym is about recognising them not allies. 
The plus is for everybody else in our community. Any other non-hetero or non-cis identities that haven't been mentioned here. Anyone feeling like they belong here is just as valid in their sexual and gender identity. So, now we know what the acronym stands for, let's see what it means to be LGBTQIA+. To me, being part of this community means being able to be my authentic self. Um, it means not living in fear, it means um, being strong and being assured and being vulnerable. It is, it is a part of ourselves, it is integral to who we are, um, it's not something that can really be ignored, and it's really just about finding value in all parts of yourself and all parts of myself. And so being part of this community, especially in the LGBT and fitness community, um, it's about being true and about being honest. I never want it to be just LGBTQA, to be the label that I got in my life. So it means nothing, not my job, not who I, what I do with my life, and not every decision that I make should revolve around that label. But at the same time, it's my everything. And it touches every single aspect of my life. It created my connection to other people and what their strengths are. It touches the job, the community that I live, and everyone else who loves me and who I love. Our community is fearless and we are making progress. But we still face problems in the most basic areas of everyday life. From personal issues to familiar ones medical, financial, and educational barriers. Many in our community have dealt with bullying, harassment, difficulties around paperwork and health insurance, healthcare, just to name a few. The thing starts to get better, so we do see more people supporting it with dedicated uh, day to celebrate this love, uh, but we also see lots of more aggression that's coming out more upfront. People need to understand that the love we have is no different uh, despite the preference that we have. LGBTQIA+, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, takatapui here in Aotearoa, queer or questioning, intersex, asexual or aromantic, and the plus for everyone else in our community. We now know what the acronym stands for and what it represents. In the third and final episode, we're going to look at what role the fitness industry has and can play in furthering the acceptance of our community. And how we can all engage in more meaningful allyship. See you soon. See you soon.